For this problem, we are required to determine the reactions on the beam. The beam has a hinge support at A and roller at B. To begin, let us draw the pre-body diagram of the beam. Sa paggawa ng pre-body diagram, i-retain lang natin yung mga applied loading sa beam. And we will replace the supports at A and B with its equivalent reacting forces. For hinge at A, the reactions are two force components, the vertical and horizontal reaction. I-denote natin na RAH, yung horizontal force component ng reaction sa point A. And RAB, yung vertical force component ng reaction sa point A. For roller at B, the reaction is a force that acts perpendicular to the surface at the point of contact. I-denote natin na RB yung reaction due to the roller at point B. Next is i-convert naman natin into equivalent concentrated force yung rectangular loading. Equal lang yun sa area ng rectangular loading. That was equal to 7.5, the intensity of the loading, multiplied by 2.1, yung length ng loading, and that was equal to 15.75 kN. Next is to determine the value of theta. Tangent theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. By considering this triangle, tangent theta is equal to 1.2 over 0.90. And theta is equal to arc tangent of 1.2 over 0.90. And the value of theta is equal to 53.13 degrees. In this triangle, since this is a right triangle, if this is theta, this angle is equal to 90 minus theta. Since RB is perpendicular to the beam, therefore this angle is 90 degrees, and the remaining angle is also equal to theta. From the concept of Sokotoa, kung nasang side adjacent yung angle, ang gagamitin natin ay cosine, and for the side opposite to angle is sine. Kunin natin yung rectangular components ng RB para sa horizontal component, that was RB sin theta, and for the vertical component, RB cosine theta. Using the equation of equilibrium, by taking the summation of moment at point A, and taking clockwise rotation as positive is equal to zero, unahin natin i-moment yung concentrated force due to the rectangular load. The location of the concentrated load is the location of the center of gravity of the area of the original load. Since the original load is a rectangle, therefore the location of its center of gravity is at center or at midpoint. Therefore, the distance of 15.75 kN load is equal to 2.1 over 2 or 1.05. 15.75 multiplied by its moment arm, 1.05, positive kasi magro-rotate siya in clockwise rotation sa point A. Ang next na i-moment natin is yung vertical component ng RB, which is RB cosine 53.13 degrees multiplied by its moment arm 2.1 plus 0.9 which is 3 meters. Negative kasi siya ay magro-rotate na pa-counterclockwise sa point A. Next is the horizontal component of RB. That was RB sine 53.13 degrees multiplied by its moment arm 1.2 or yung perpendicular distance ng RB sa point A. Negative kasi siya ay magro-rotate na pa-counterclockwise sa point A. And equal to 0. By simplifying this equation, 16.5375 minus 2.76 RB is equal to 0. By calculation, RB is equal to 5.99 kN. Next is by taking the summation forces vertical is equal to 0. Ang default na ginagamit natin dito is upward positive and downward negative. Pagsamasamahin natin lahat ng upward force, RAB plus yung vertical component ng RB which is equal to RB cosine theta and the value of RB is 5.99 cosine 53.13 degrees Minus lahat ng pababa, ang pababa lang natin na force is yung 15.75 kN force or yung concentrated force due to the rectangular load equal to 0. By calculation, 
the value of RA vertical is equal to 12.15 kN upward. Next is by taking the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0. Ang default na ginagamit natin dito is to the right positive and to the left negative. Lahat ng pakanan, RA horizontal, minus pakaliwa, ang pakaliwa lang natin na force is yung horizontal component ng RB, and substituting the value of RB, 5.99 sine 53.13 degrees is equal to 0. By calculation, the value of RAH is equal to 4.79 kN to the right. The compound beam is fixed at A. Determine the reactions at A, B, and C. Assume that the connection at B is a pin and C is a roller. For the given beam, we have a uniformly distributed load of 6 kN per meter for segment AB and a clockwise moment of 8 kN meter at point C. To begin, let us draw the pre-body diagram of the beam. Dahil meron tayong pin sa point B, pwede nating hatiin yung beam sa point B. Mahahati ngayon yung beam natin sa dalawang segment, segment AB and segment BC. Sa paggawa ng pre-body diagram, i-retain lang natin yung mga applied loading sa beam. And we will replace the supports at A and C with its equivalent reacting forces. Since kinat natin yung beam sa point B, may expose ngayon yung internal forces sa point B. For the peak support at A, the reactions are two force components, the vertical and horizontal reaction and a resisting moment. I-denote natin na RAH, yung horizontal force component, and RAB, yung vertical force component sa point A. And MA is the resisting moment at point A due to the peak support at point A. For roller at C, the reaction is a force that acts perpendicular to the surface at the point of contact. Therefore, the reaction at point C is vertical only. I-denote natin na RC yung reaction due to the roller at point C. For pin at B, the reactive forces are two force components, the vertical and horizontal reaction. For reactive forces common to two members, it act with equal magnitudes but opposite directions on the respective pre-body diagram of the members. Denote natin na RB horizontal yung horizontal component ng reaction sa point B, and RB vertical, yung vertical component ng reaction sa point B. Kung yung direction ng RBH sa segment AB is pakaliwa, therefore yung direction niya sa segment BC ay pakanan. And kung yung direction ng RBB sa segment AB ay pataas, therefore yung direction niya sa segment BC ay pababa. I-convert natin into concentrated load yung uniformly distributed load sa segment AB. The value of this concentrated load is equal to the area of the uniformly distributed load or yung rectangular load. That was equal to 6 kN per meter or yung intensity ng rectangle multiplied by its length, 6 meter. Therefore, the value of the concentrated load is equal to 36 kN. For the next step, let us use the equilibrium equations. Unahin natin i-analyze yung segment BC Dahil mas maunti yung unknown sa segment na ito. By taking the summation of moment at point C and take all clockwise rotation as positive is equal to 0, unahin natin yung moment yung vertical component ng reaction ng pin sa point B that was equal to RBB multiplied by its moment arm 4.5 meter. Negative kasi siya ay magro-rotate ng pa-counterclockwise sa point C plus yung applied load na 8 kN meter. Positive dahil siya ay nagro-rotate ng pa-clockwise. Wala na siyang moment arm dahil moment na mismo yung 8 kN meter and equal to 0. By computation, the value of RBB is equal to 1.78 kN downward. Next, taking the summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, ang default na ginagamit natin dito is upward positive and downward negative. Lahat ng pataas, 
RC minus lahat ng pababa, RBB or yung vertical component ng reaction sa point B which is nasolve na natin, ang value niya ay 1.78 kN and equal to 0. Thus, the value of RC is equal to 1.78 kN upward. Next, by taking the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0, obviously, dahil wala namang ibang horizontal forces maliban sa RBH, thus, the value of RBH is equal to 0. Lipat tayo sa segment AB. From segment BC, na-compute na natin yung value ng RBH which is equal to 0 and RBB is equal to 1.78 kN. For segment AB, ang direction na niya ay upward. Let us take summation of moment at point A, taking all clockwise rotation as positive is equal to 0. Unahin natin yung moment, yung concentrated force due to the rectangular load. Ang value niya ay 36 kN having a moment arm of 3 meters. Positive kasi siya ay nagro-rotate ng pa-clockwise sa point A. And next is yung RBB or yung vertical component ng reaction sa point B. Minus 1.78 multiplied by its moment arm na 6 meter. Negative kasi siya ay nagro-rotate ng pa-counterclockwise sa point A. Minus MA or yung resisting moment mismo sa point A due to the peak support. Negative kasi siya ay nagro-rotate ng pa-counterclockwise. Is equal to 0. By calculation, the value of MA is equal to 97.32 kN meter counterclockwise. By taking summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, nahin natin sa lahat ng pa-upward, RAB, unknown, plus yung RBB, which is na-compute na natin, 1.78 kN, lahat naman ng pababa, Minus 36 kN equal to 0. The only unknown in this equation is RAB. And by computation, the value of RAB is equal to 34.22 kN upward. And last, by taking the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0. Again, obviously, the value of RAH is equal to 0.